Sanju Varma, the fact is you gave us hard-cold numbers. The Congress uh, and other opposition parties allege that this is an inflated number. Ultimately, you are stacking up numbers just uh, you know, to go down in print. The ground situation very, very different. And you're trying to mask the reality by Atomator, pushing these numbers in general. And at a, you know, with Adels and Bopara is quoting the 2019 Labour Ministry report, it is an admittance of your own government. That employment or unemployment, Which rather, at that yeah, time, I wasn't at an all-time high. Now, can I please come in, please, please because I don't want heckle anyone. Please go you ahead. Know, the, you know, there is a famous saying, the only thing worse than a liar is a liar who is also a hypocrite. The fact that the Congress spokesperson has no clue of data, I will just showcase to you. Read the latest, uh, you know, uh, unemployment survey. It says that the unemployment rate is 7.95% and the highest unemployment rate is in Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. And these are not numbers that I'm dossing off my hat. I mentioned these numbers and they were corroborated by India Today even on a debate last week. The highest inflation rate at 9.5% is in Rajasthan. So please take some onus rather than sitting here and giving a bhashan to the BJP. You've been booted out by the electorate for good reasons. I will just tell you this. You keep quoting, you know, Adil Gokurai, that 2019 report which says that unemployment is at a new high. That same report was later, in a subsequent year by Niti Ayog said, that the only reason unemployment numbers are high is because our definition of unemployment does not take into account the fact that you have a scheme like Mudra Yojana, which have disbursed till date 24 lakh crore to 41 crore entities, of which 8 crore entities are first-time people who have been given loan of any kind. And the same report by Niti Ayog also said, and this is something that Ashwini Vaishnav said in an interview, very recently, that on conservative basis, we've created at least two crore jobs per year, but we may have actually breached that on the upper side, because I want to tell you in a very a quick nutshell so that your audience can understand. Forget about EPSO creating 1.92 crore jobs per year. Forget as per ESIC, we are creating 1.38 crore jobs per year. Forget that the auto industry is adding 25 lakh jobs per year. Forget that infrastructure is adding 63 lakh jobs per year. The IMF report says this, that when you look at the job situation, you have to do not a top-down, but a bottom-up you know, uh, calculation. How can an economy which is the size of 3.75 trillion dollars, which is the size of India's GDP, where we are okay. selling more than 1.9 crore yeah, two wheelers every yeah, year. Let, him fin let us finish. I'm coming right back. She should not three. stop. No, no, yeah, no, let I us give us. I'll come back to you, Adil. Let her uh, make her point. You. Sanju, quickly Thank make you. your point. I'll go back to Adil. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. So how can an economy, which is the size of 3.75 trillion dollars, where we are selling you know, close to 39 lakh cars every year. We are selling 1.9 crore two-wheelers every year. We are, uh, you know, having a freight okay. uh, loading of 125 million tons every month by way of the railways, where the average income of the middle class has gone up from 2.3 lakh in 2010-11 to 13 lakh per year as per the data okay. provided by the income tax calculations. How can this economy All be right, a okay. jobless you economy? Know, Okay, there is, in terms of numbers, what you're quoting, you can quote one set, Adil can quote one set, but one thing is very clear also, Sanju Varma, that the, un the unemployment data might be low. But no, 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 madam, one second, let me be fair. The unemployment data might be low, but it needs to be seen in conjunction with the labor force participation rate, madam. Yes, and you know that, you know that equation as well, you're going to put... Please or, talk about ESIC. One second, will, one second. Will, Let will, me, okay, will, Adil will, needs to come will, in. I don't have much time. I want to bring him in. Adil, the fact is, politically speaking, the India Alliance would want to build one of its key flagging poll points where you go into elections in 2024 on the basis of unemployment. And these figures destabilize that. Well, not at all. You can, can come up with bogus claims, but that doesn't become reality. Let's test, let's test her rhetoric for a moment. The government of India, and this is admitted, this is an admitted fact, the government of India on the floor of the house in August 2022 said that 9 lakhs and 79,000 jobs or posts are lying vacant with the central government. Now, please put this question to her. Does this hoax of a Mela include even these jobs which were already available and which were yeah, part of the open process number one. Please, let, can I just get Adil? May I just get Adil? Go fair. ahead, sir. Number go ahead. One, go ahead. 
let's let's the devil lies in the detail so this hoax of a mela already factors in 976000 posts which were lying vacant as of the 22nd of august 2022 point number 1 Point number two, look at the CMIE data. CMIE data is not Congress Party data. CMIE data says that unemployment, especially amongst the youth, is touching 10%. This is an admitted fact. Number three, which is again a critical aspect. Today, and this has been validated by the ILO, the female participation in the formal sectors of employment is at an all-time low. Number four, inequality today is stark. Almost 60% of the wealth is controlled by half a dozen industrialists of this country. The wealth is growing, but the wealth is growing for a handful of corporates okay. who owe their allegiance to the BJP and more particularly the Adanis and the Ambani's. For an ordinary citizen in a Mufassil town or a Tehsil, there has Can been I no come in? You can't give an him economic him. distress. Preeti, let me again. You, you, you Make your point, point sir, quickly. Ten now. seconds. No, economic I'm giving. Okay, Sanju distress. Varma, you've spoken more till now. I'm, I'm timing it. Go ahead, no, Mr. Adul Singh Bhopra. Quickly, make your point. Distress, economic distress is our flagship pointer when it comes to the 2024. Okay. It is economic distress, which includes inflation, which includes the fact that today, despite our demographic dividend, there are no jobs for our youth. PhD students are applying for government clerk posts. Can you beat it, Preeti? Okay. PhD students. Sanju Varma, please respond 20 seconds. Beyond. Okay, you made some points. Other, let Sanju Varma respond. Go ahead, Ms. Varma. She'll, she'll no, I don't need 20 facts. seconds. You will have to give me one minute. No, no, no. no. I, I began the debate with you. I'm sorry. I, de I began the debate with you. So Equal amount of interjections interrupt have interrupt been made more from because your side. You don't interrupt the Congress. You don't interrupt the Congress. Give me my time without interrupting. Madam, you've been given your time. I uh, let me moderate yeah, this. So you you wanna you wanna waste yeah, this please. 20 30 seconds by arguing please with please me? You can do so. Please go ahead, ma'am. Preeti, Preeti, please stop lecturing me. I know how to debate. As an anchor, did you interject him once when he made a wrong claim on your show? He said, as per the CMI, which is government data and not Congress Party data, anyone with a basic knowledge of economics, Adil Bhopra, and you don't have basic knowledge of economics, knows that CMIE is a private company owned by Mahesh Vyas, 